Thank you for your interventions, which are encouraging and which reflect the great support of this House for Life. Almost three years have passed since the Commission adopted its proposal for a new life regulation in June 2018. Interinstitutional discussions and negotiations led to a first political agreement in March 2019, but could not be formally concluded given the pending agreement on the overall MFF budget. With a new parliament and a new commission in 2019, almost all main actors involved in this file changed. And after the breakthrough on the next MFF last summer, we could resume and finally conclude our negotiations last December. And today, three years later, we are formally closing this legislative procedure with the final adoption of the new life regulation by the European Parliament. It has been a long journey, but a very constructive one. And we can be very satisfied with the result we achieved. Let me briefly respond also to a to, to couple of colleagues. To Ms. Vishnevska, who has referred to a geographical imbalance as regards the project. Let me just say that we do have specific support for the member states with low effective participation. This is covered in the regulation and we foresee 15 million euro to improve the situation. We are working to improve the national contact point service and their support and thus increase the quality of projects. This should lead to a better geographical balance. And to Ms. Uh, Polus. Let me reassure you that we are working towards an ambitious legislative proposal later this year for binding nature restoration targets and that we are grateful for Parliament's important support on this regard. Honourable members, dear colleagues, now it's time to deliver and to implement this new programme. It's time for new concrete projects and for concrete action. Because after all, this is what life is about and what makes it so attractive. The Commission will do all it can to ensure that the new life programme reaches cruising speed as soon as possible so that it can show its full potential. We will cooperate closely with all stakeholders because this programme is first and foremost made for them. We will need their continued support, their creativity and enthusiasm and their commitment to implement the many projects with local, regional and national actors from civil society to public bodies, industry to NGOs. The success of the LIFE programme has always been a shared one. And I'm convinced that this will remain one of the biggest strengths also in the future. Thank you once again for your support and attention. And let me also wish Happy Easter to those celebrating Easter this weekend. Thank you. Vielen Dank, Herr Kommissar Sinkevicius. Die Aussprache ist damit Geschlossen. Ich möchte Ihnen mitteilen, dass kein Vorschlag zur Ablehnung des Standpunkts des Rates und keine Änderungsanträge gemäß den Artikeln 67 und 68 der Geschäftsordnung eingereicht wurden. Der Standpunkt des Rates gilt somit als gebilligt und damit gilt der vorgeschlagene Gesetzgebungsakt als angenommen. Die Sitzung ist unterbrochen. Sie wird um 16.30 Uhr mit der Bekanntgabe der Ergebnisse der zweiten Abstimmungsrunde des heutigen Tages wieder aufgenommen.